Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Our favorite Monate Mormon is at it again. So I just filmed and researched yesterday, but filmed a Where Are They Now video. It's episode three of Where Are They Now? And we checked in with this girl and her Instagram story was so infuriating that I have to make a whole video about it. It's not bullying, just pointing out lies and red flags and things like that. And I think it's important to not only focus on the big heads and figures in these scams, but then also the people who are mid-ranking and lower ranking as well to really show that the misinformation, the lies, the manipulation, manipulation, the cult tactics, all of that really trickles down and a lot of people in MLMs do it. She could be the sweetest girl in the world. I don't know. I don't care to know her. I don't need to know her. It's just an example and there are so many people in MLMs that say the exact same because they just regurgitate it over and over and over again. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. Focusing on the fundy element lately of multi-level marketing companies and, you know, internet scammers, which I love. If you hear snoring, you most likely will, especially if you're wearing earphones. That is my bulldog Wiggum. He's laying on the floor right there. At least it's not a crying baby, okay? Could be worse. So let's go ahead and point out some ridiculous misinformation that I hate so much. Thanks. Oh, also, I'm just lady with a bulldog camera and too many opinions, and you're gonna hear those opinions today. I didn't forget. I could never forget. Business, and then when my husband gets home from work, I get to spend time with him, watch our shows, eat dinner together, um, go to bed together at the same time. And I was just thinking about, you know, little changes that I'd like to make to eat healthier, you know, focus on. 24 seconds into it and I'm already like, excuse me? How low is the bar? I think the, I think the bar is in hell, honestly, but like how low is the bar? Tony and I were on opposite schedules for a long time. He worked 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. for eight years. The entire time we were engaged in the first like seven years, six years of our marriage. He's only been on day shift for two or three years now. I would work the later shift, almost every sales role I was in, and I would work like 10-ish to like maybe I'd go in at like 11 and get off at like seven or something. Typically I'd work even later than that because if Tony was already at work, I was like, I don't gotta feed anybody and I know Wiggum's fine, so I'm good. Or Daphne for the people who remember her. Like, I, I get it. I mean, I'm very happy that like he's not on that schedule anymore, but I don't know. It just seems so like he's at work and when he comes home from work, we get to spend time together and eat and sleep next to each other. It's like, I like sleeping next to my son of another too, but like, again, how low is the bar? It just shows the level of naive naivete? No, Na naivety, naivety. What am I trying to say? Naivete. How naive she is. I'm wearing a turtleneck, I'm smart. Hello friends, before we get too far into this video, let's go ahead and take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Babbel. If you don't know what Babbel is, then clearly you don't watch my channel at all and I'm very disappointed in you. But don't worry, I will tell you. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world and its intuitive lessons help you learn a new language through real world conversations, which is really the best way to learn. They have blogs, they have articles, they have everything about history and the culture. There's the games, which y'all know, I love. So I love that I'm able to learn in, in multiple different ways. Babbel is scientifically proven to help you to start speaking a new language in just three weeks. The lessons are designed by real life teachers for real life, real language teachers. There is a 20 day money back guarantee and Babbel offers live classes. And with your subscription, you get two free live classes. Now, I don't know about y'all, but the holidays are not only my favorite time of year, especially with this thing. I, and I mean, as you can tell, we just moved into our new house. I have bought so much stuff. I need to stop. Someone stop me, please, straight to jail. I need help. But let's be honest, a lot of times setting boundaries and being with family and all that can really have some hiccups and be a little bit spooky, especially when there's those communication hiccups, especially when, hey, guess what? You don't even speak the same language. For instance, I was very anxious about this little bean meeting his great, great, great aunt, Artia Nerea. And I was real nervous about him meeting her. She rarely comes to the US. Last time I saw her was our wedding eight years ago. And we love her so much. She's one of our favorite people in the world. She's 96. She's amazing. And I was like, I'm not even gonna be able to speak to her. But guess what? I was, and I understood what she was saying and it was amazing. And she even did a prayer and I like translated it. I'm doing great. And I got myself into quite a mess because I don't know what I have done. I am now in a WhatsApp group with my husband's entire Spanish side of the family. 
He's bored. You know what's not boring though? Babbel and their lessons. <laughs> However, thanks to Babbel, I am able to understand what they're saying better and I'm able to communicate as well. For instance, my Tia Norea was saying um, that she loved being with us and that she loved seeing our son. And I said, no se encanta pasar tiempo contigo. Con no, con contigo. So if you've been using Babbel, tell me what I just said. Mm. And then Tia Meta, your Yaya, replied back, you go, Chelsea. Okay, go off. So make sure that y'all click the link in my description box to get 60% off of your Babbel subscription, or you can go ahead and scan the QR code, which will be it right in this corner. Made it super easy for you. Just like Babbel makes learning a new language super easy. Thank you again, Babbel, for sponsoring this video. Appreciate you. Now back to the video. Um, things that I enjoy, my hobbies, um, you know, goals I have for work and like stuff like that. And I was just thinking about how so many people don't have that luxury, you know, of, of time, you know, they, they can't prepare like a whole healthy breakfast because they, they don't have time. They have to rush off to work in the morning or, um, you know, they don't have that time to spend with their husband or they don't get to go to bed at the same time as their husband because they have to work or he has to work and all that kind of stuff. Like today, I woke up at 10. So one thing that I always find super interesting is, and a point that we've made multiple, multiple times, is a lot of these young, and you can be young and experienced, but realistically, like, you can't be like that experienced if you're like 20, right? Like, think about it. You, if I mean, if you're in like an actual corporate job, I know you can work and you can have a job or an internship or something before you're 18, but typically corporate like employers, like you're not really going to see anyone under 18 in like that type of environment, right? So I just find it hilarious that she, and by hilarious, I mean like really frustrating that she's like, oh, well, people who go to like normal jobs, like are rushing in the morning. Not everybody. Like if you're late, sure. Or if you like don't give yourself a lot of time, yeah. But a lot of people know how much time it takes for them to get ready. A lot of people, I mean, I know personally, I used to get like, get like, like a, like an RX bar and like a banana or sometimes I would make myself like a little breakfast sandwich. Like you're not the only person experiencing this type of life, girl. Like you're not, I don't want to pull like a chef P when she was on that one show and she's like, you're not special. But like, <laughs> it's just so frustrating. It's not that there are only two options of MLM where you have all the time in the world and you hardly work and blah, 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 which is also false versus chained to a desk, hate my life. I'm just a number. I'm trading time for money. I'm always rushing and stressed and like never have any time with my friends or family or anybody. It's like, okay. The thing that is wild to me is like this girl, like you could, like your husband works, you could have a job and then still have the same amount of time with him. You know that, right? And guess what? He probably wouldn't have to work as hard or y'all could have more and like save more. I got work done in bed, snuggled my cat until like two o'clock. And then I am now eating my breakfast and I can do whatever I want to do today. <laughs> like after this, I will probably practice piano a little bit, unload a reload the dishwasher, put away laundry, um, pack for my trip to California, and then just kind of do whatever I want to do. Maybe put on a movie, get some more work done. And I was just thinking about, you know, how those little things I take for granted. I don't know about y'all, but this is excruciating. So we're going to speed it up to one point. Let's see if 1.5 is too fast. Yeah, we're going to go to 1.25 because mama ain't got no time for this. And I saw a reel that my upline posted today or yesterday, something like that, um, because her husband is a police officer. And she posted this video um, and the background of the video was the lights, you know, flashing from his patrol car and then a screenshot of a text that she had sent him that basically said something to the effect of like, you know, good night. I love you. Stay safe. Um, can't wait to see you tomorrow. Right. And our caption on the video was, if you don't have to send this text, then, um, you know, you're so blessed. And it made me think, you know, for one, you know, those little things that we take for granted, how blessed I am to be able to sleep beside my husband every night. And I can't imagine, you know, what that feels like to be in her position. But also, you know, I know her for I've known her for a few years, right? And we do money together. I know her why in this business is to bring him home full time. You know, she wants to be a stay at home mom and be present in her kids' lives. And she wants her husband to not have to go to work every day.
similar to mine, right? Except my husband is not putting his life on the line every night, you know, and I do sleep beside him. And, you know, just knowing her story. Similar to mine, you know, except for not at all. No, you're not in the same situation, girl. Not at all. And not to be all like cop wife, because y'all know I'm, y'all should know by now that I think, oh my God, I just cringe so hard. I saw one time a woman with a purse that was like a thin blue line purse. And I was like, KMS girl, like, oh my God, that's embarrassing. I don't think you should make your job or your significant other's job or a sport your kid plays your personality. Like, it's just so funny that she's like, kind of like me. And it's like, no, not like you at all. And I, I can understand the, I want to make a certain amount of money to where my husband isn't having this dangerous job because same, I would love that. I would love to be able to make enough money sust and sustain it for a long time, which probably is never going to happen, honestly. And we probably would never do that anyways, because one, the insurance through his employer is so good. And then also his job is so sustainable. Yes, it's dangerous. Yes, I get very worried for him. But yeah, I would love that. Like that's the dream, but is that going to happen? Probably not. And I just feel like it's just so unethical to kind of push that as like a sad fishing way to like make your downline work harder or also like make people buy from you, not make them, try to encourage them to buy from you or manipulate them into working harder under you. It's just gross. And you know, the things that she's been able to accomplish in this business, like my upline, she's gone on the trips and been able to bring her family on, you know, the paid for it, all inclusive trips. And she has the Cadillac and all that kind of stuff. Um, but even more than that, because of the income that she makes from money, her husband doesn't have to work overtime shifts, which is huge because, you know, I've talked to her before about how terrifying his job already is. And then to think that something could happen on a shift that he didn't have to work, but that he was working just so he could get those extra hours and the extra money. It's just a devastating thought. And because of her income with money, she doesn't have to worry about that. At least, you know, he doesn't have to work overtime anymore. And I was just kind of like putting myself in her shoes, you know, thinking of what she has accomplished in this business, what she wants to accomplish and um, thinking about like her upline, right? Who is my money grandma. <laughs> um, she has done that. She has brought her husband home and it wasn't something that even was necessarily um, her main goal because he was a firefighter. So very similar position to, you know, my upline Taylor. Um, but being a firefighter was his, his dream job. That's what he always wanted to be. But circumstances changed and he lost that job. And now because of her income with Monate, Circumstances changed. That's an interesting way to phrase what happened because you want to know what happened? She's talking about, is it Chris? It's not Christina Smallwood. Which one is it? Is it Salvage Soul? Sarah Hill? I don't know. One of the white with blonde crusty hair. They all look exactly alike. So the, the, the husband refused to get vaccinated and the fire department fired him. I don't think is necessarily like super ethical. Please vaccinate your children. If my child gets measles or polio because one of your crusty dirty kids because you won't vaccinate them, I will karate chop you in the t That's not me inciting violence for legal purposes. That's a joke, but I'll give you measles. Anyways, so like I don't necessarily like agree with that, but it is just really interesting that like, let's not say he lost his job. He got fired. He got terminated because he refused to get vaccinated. Anyways, they're also like super huge, like anti-vax people though too. So that's like another aspect of it. She fully supports them and they are more than fine. <laughs> like they moved to Tennessee. They just built their dream home. They just had their third baby. They're both full-time parents. They are living. They're living the dream. They built their dream home. They're both full-time parents. If you, ha if you have a kid, you're a full-time parent. Like I, I get, I get it if y'all have like joint custody and like you're separated or something, you're still a parent full time. Like even though like Tony works full time, I technically work part time, but like he works full time. He's still a full time parent. I work part time. I'm still a full time parent. I just can't with these young, <laughs> I'm about to sound like such a grumpy old Are you ready? <laughs> Grandma Suarez coming at ya. Abuela. So these young, inexperienced, naive, I know I keep saying naive, I'm sorry, but like desperate, sheltered, I also say blonde, not all of them are blonde, but usually they are. <laughs> Mormon pyramid scheme ladies, these little girls, they're literally little girls that get married when they're 12. I'm just kidding. That's the FLDS, but they get married when they're like 19. You can live that virgin life, do what you want. But like, sometimes you like get out there and live your life, even if it's not like a life, like go travel, go be single. Don't go from your parents' household to then living with a spouse that is then also like taking care of you. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's really frustrating because then they fall for the sh 
And if you live in such a little bubble that is like such a cult, like Mormonism can be, I've met some cool Mormons, but these people are not that, then like, you know, you're just so susceptible to being naive and uneducated and just believing this like crazy dream. Maybe I'm just a negative. Maybe, no, I'm not. I'm a realist. She sells shampoo from Instagram. When he lost his job, money was never a concern. You know what I mean? And now neither of them have to work. Well, like work in the traditional sense, right? She works her butt off slinging shampoo, obviously. Um, but not only does she make enough to support them, but she makes enough to where if God forbid anything were to happen to her. From selling shampoo from your phone, she works her butt off selling shampoo. No, she doesn't. What year was it? 2021? Is that the internal documents I had? I can't remember if it was that year. I think it was. I think it was, well, 2021 to like the beginning money is when I had, I had all those documents for those years. That person that she's specifically talking about, all of the people at the very, very, very top, those people specifically, less than, let's say, just to be safe, let's say like less than 15%-ish of their annual income actually comes from their own personal sales of shampoo. So you're lying and you know it's all about rec recruiting, or maybe she doesn't because she has not ranked up. So maybe she doesn't get that it's about recruiting. Maybe she still just thinks it's all about products. How much shampoo do these, you think these people sell, girlfriend? What are you doing? She would, her income would still support them. You know what I mean? Because not only is, res, is it a residual income, but she's also making cr incredible money, right? And I was just thinking about how close Taylor is to that goal and how close I am to that goal. You're not close to that girl. Gr girl? Gruel. You're not close to that goal at all. Your upline might be, but you're not. These people really live in like an alternate reality. I mean, what timeline are they in? Like what in the multiverse? Like girl, Loki time slipping all over the place. Like, what are you doing? Really thinking about those little things that we take for granted that would not be possible if it weren't for this business. The little things we take for granted, like spending more time with my family, like not having to actually like work full time or in the traditional sense. It could be possible without that business. Again, it's the idea that it's, it's like us versus them, or it's like this life and this job is the only way I can achieve this. And it's like, no, it's not. A lot of these people who haven't lived that life or haven't really learned or been exposed to maybe women being in high level positions. And also girl, if you don't wanna work, don't work, okay? If you can financially afford it and it's like a responsible decision for your family and you're all taken care of and fed and clean and bathed and whatever, go for it. I, like my father, <laughs> will probably never stop working. Me and my sister make that joke too, that we're both gonna be working until we're dead. The things that other people go through that could be blessed by this opportunity. Like I get to sleep beside my husband every night, right? And Taylor doesn't. And that's why she sells shampoo. So that she can be where Nicola is at. Also, she doesn't, it's the, you mean why she recruits people into the MLM? Also, I know I'm not in the same area that they're in. I know that, you know, my husband doesn't work for the same department as that upline, but most law enforcement agencies, they don't work every single night. It's usually like two on, two off, and then a rotating weekend, or it's like four on, four off four on three off or something like that. Like typically they're working like anywhere from 14 to like, like 14 to 20 days a month, depending on their like shifts and the hours and all that. Like if it's 12 hours or six hours or eight hours, whatever. Yeah, she gets to sleep with her husband in the same bed like sometimes. <laughs> Not every night, but sometimes. And I get it, it sucks, but like, I don't know, it's just really funny. Right, and that's why I sell shampoo, so I can be where Nicola is at. And Nicola's not the only girl I've seen do this, right? And if, it's, if she can do it, if it's possible, why wouldn't I at least try, right? And I just think about Taylor and other girls that I might not even be aware of that are going through things like that. She does talk about the products quite a bit, but I wouldn't say that that's like all she does, because she talks about the other... <laughs> Sorry, he's allergic to scammers. This is gonna sound mean. Can I be mean for a second? I would say it's silly or frivolous. And she's like, people might think what I do is silly. Well, I do because you've been doing it for what? Five years now, four years now? And you're at the same rank. Like what, what world are you living in where that's a good idea? <laughs> Give it up, Michaela. <laughs> Get a job. Doing this is exactly what got Nicola everything that she has. And if I want what she has, wouldn't it be silly for me to not at least try? And when I don't know what you guys are going through and I don't know what the girls that follow me have going on in their lives and the things that maybe they wish they could change or the things that they don't know are even possible for them, um, why would I not share that? You know what I mean? If I know girls personally who are living the dream because they have the discipline to show up on social media and get uncomfortable and talk about their shampoo, why would I not present that opportunity? And if you don't like it, you don't have to take it. 
not everything is for everybody, right? That's why God designed us with diverse personalities and interests because our society would not function. If it's just really interesting how she just said that. Like, if there are people who are doing this, then why wouldn't I share about it too? Girl, the reason why they're able to live that life that you want so badly is because of you, because you are still in the company and because you are trying so hard, because you're trying so hard to recruit more people. And clearly you're never gonna leave because you're brainwashed. So weird, just so weird. That's why God designed us with diverse personalities and interests because our society would not function if everybody sold shampoo, right? It's okay if it's not your cup of tea. But if I have a way that I can help my friends make an extra $500, $1,000, $2,000, $4,000 by Christmas from doing what they're already doing and teach them and help them implement proven systems to help you. Girl, you're not making 4,000 or 5,000 a month or by Christmas. So how are you gonna make how are you gonna help them make that much money? By recruiting them, you could, if you recruited a bunch of people, you could, I guess, make that much, but like, not really, because the bonuses you would get for recruiting this, well, I guess next month, because this month's already over, next month, you would get in January, not by Christmas. Make your money back plus some, right? If I can provide that for my friends and my family and my followers and whoever else is interested, why would I not share that? Uh, less than 5% of people in the company make their money back and then some. Girl, how are you going to teach someone to do something that you, you ain't even doing yet? What? That makes sense. Because as it stands right now, I can teach you how to help four people try a new shampoo, one person get started making money, and that would be $500 in your pocket. That would also have her rank up though too. Oh, hello. Talking money because that's my favorite language. When you sign up for customers in one month with Bonnie on top of commissions, you're gonna get a $60 bonus. You're gonna start off at a 15% commission. Most customers are gonna spend about $100, okay? $15 commission a piece. By the way, this is not me making mom content. This is not me exploiting my child. This is not me purposely sharing my child. This is me working and trying to get something done because sometimes the baby just wants mom. Then, whenever you sign a market partner, that is a minimum of a $50 bonus, okay? depending on which product pack they buy, that can go all the way up to $250. $50 plus 120, that's $170 from five people, but you also get a block bonus. Normally block bonuses are $150, but for the month of November, when you join in November for your entire Smart Start period, which is the month you enroll plus two extra calendar months, you will get a $300 bonus. So double the bonus on that only when you join in November. That is $470 from five people. You have your entire Smart Start period, so the rest of November, all of December, and all of January to earn as many of those $300 bonuses as you possibly can. They are uncapped and on top of commissions, okay? Now, those double bonuses, those $300 bonuses are only available to market partners that join in November. If you wait till Friday to join for your entire Smart Start period, you're only going to making $150 bonuses. If you join in November, you get those $300 bonuses for your entire Smart Start period. Double the earning potential, that's no small thing, okay? On top of that, this girl talks about bonuses so much, like about the smart start thing it's so annoying it's crazy that, like she has not crazy that she has all this memorized i mean i get it because she says it constantly but it's like it's so much how to host an event how to talk to somebody in person and how to talk to somebody over instagram and you will be able to take all these resources and this information and convert it into a business strategy that feels like you right so you can decide off of all of these things what is going to be the most lucrative for you what is going to feel the most natural to you so that you never have flashbacks of you 12 years old sitting at the kitchen table holding the phone in your hand crying because your mom is making you call people from church to buy your cookies so that you can go to girls camp okay this is this is not what this is all right you're still gonna have to step outside of your comfort zone you're still gonna require a little bit of growth it's going to feel uncomfortable it's gonna take effort and you're probably gonna be surprised at how difficult it actually is but it's talking about shampoo. Yeah, it's not rocket science, just like my chin is not food. But yeah, it's not rocket science. But also, that's not what you're doing. You're recruiting people. Like exactly what you're doing right now. Because you're not talking about the shampoo. You're talking about the opportunity and how much money you can make by recruiting people. And that's how you get to the top. That's how you retire your husband. Because apparently our husbands are racehorses. And they need to be retired and just sent off to the glue factory. Tony, I'm sending you to the glue factory. Yeah, this girl says she wants to retire her husband like he's a racehorse. Are we going to sing dad to the glue factory? Yeah. And I am here to help you find your own voice so that you can build your business in the way that I think a lot of people have a bad taste in their mouth for direct sales because they've seen so many people do it wrong. And because of that, they're afraid of having to sell their friends and family. This girl's literally been on Instagram stories so long. Like the position of the sun is changing. Like <laughs> It's gonna be like pitch black by the time she's finished. I can't. Nobody wants to be slimy and salesy and pushy and make Christmas dinner awkward, right? But the thing is, in the years I have done this, one of the things I have learned is that it is only weird if you make it weird. You know what I mean? The product sells itself. You're going to wash your hair one time and want to shout it from the rooftops anyway. And at that point, it's weirder if you don't recommend if it. If the product sold itself, you wouldn't have a job. If the product sold itself, you wouldn't be recruiting people to sell shampoo and live the dream by selling shampoo. If the product sold itself, it'd be sold in Target. You know what I mean? Imagine you have your all-time favorite show. You know that this show is right up your best friend's alley, but you don't recommend it to her because she might perceive you as pushy. 
That'd be super weird, right? Or imagine you have a recipe that's your all-time favorite recipe. You make it every week and you want to share it because it's so good, but you don't because people will have to go buy the ingredients to make that recipe and that's just such a high investment and that's so presumptuous of you. Like, wouldn't that be so weird? By the way, they don't have to make the recipe. Oh my God, she changed locations. That's not the same, girl. Me telling someone that like a movie suggestion or a show suggestion, like, or a, the <sighs> lashes I'm wearing are by Kiss and it's the shade bare affair and like th the lipstick i'm wearing i'll have all those linked down below those are affiliate links like you don't have to buy them that's not being pushy i don't think they understand the difference between like just oh, just suggesting something and like actually selling something and also sales doesn't have to be pushy if you're good at it it's not pushy and it doesn't seem salesy and it's just a natural conversation but these people aren't good at sales you know what i mean if you're looming over their shoulder like so are you gonna make that recipe that i sent you that's weird right that's when it gets weird but if i just give you a recipe and then maybe the next time i see you i'm like oh did you try that recipe how did you like it there's nothing wrong with that right it's just literally the same exact thing I don't think there's anything abnormal. Popping in once again to say thanks Babbel for sponsoring this video. Make sure y'all click the link in my description box or the QR code on the screen right now. Go ahead and scan that to get 60% off of your Babbel subscription and start learning a new language. You know what's cool? Learn a new language. That's cool, right? You know what's also cool? Poop in your pants, and which he just did. So I have to go change that. Back to the video. Thanks Babbel for sponsoring this video. But like, that's not the same thing. Like suggesting that someone make something for dinner or like giving them their, like I had posted about my chicken pot pie recipe and I like put it in the next slide because a lot of y'all asked, asked me for it on Instagram. I'll link that down below too. And I even said like, yeah, I, I add garlic, salt, pepper, cumin. I think the cumin is the thing that really like gets it good. Like that's not salesy. Again, that's suggesting something versus selling something. And then also you're not actually selling something, you're selling the opportunity. About not wanting to come off like a salesman to your people close to you, right? That's a very valid concern. But look at my before and after pictures. If my friend is sitting on my couch talking about how thin and dull and fried look at my before and after pictures girl your hair don't look like that now <laughs> like what wait that's that's not even your hair and i've got this in my back pocket and i'm not recommending the shampoo that did this to her that is so much weirder than just making a commission off of my shampoo you know what i mean like you're literally bleeding out on my floor and i'm not giving you a towel because i thought that that would be like too much like that's so much weirder which by the way that exact thing has happened to me multiple times where a friend has been sitting on my couch and they're complaining about their hair because that's what women do and i've been like you should let me wash you with money and approximately several times have they ever been weird about it i have never once had a friend be like mm, i don't know if i want to try your shampoo 100 percent of the time they're excited probably because you're all in a cult this sect of mormonism that they are in i believe to be a cult what is it the like idaho byu is that where it is idaho iowa idaho utah 100 percent of the time they're excited they're always like yeah well, can we get together i would love to try it it is never as weird as you think it's gonna be. I've done the same thing with the business. My friends will be complaining about money or not wanting to go back to work or things like that. And I kind of say it always as like a lighthearted joke, like you can always sell shampoo because they all watch my stories, they know what I do and I don't have to like sh give them the spiel right there. Like you can always sell shampoo. And a lot of times we laugh and we joke because maybe that's not their thing. But I've had friends come back and be like, so how does this like making money online thing work? And I've had friends join and been very successful with this business because I've had friends join and be very successful. Then wouldn't you be very successful in ranking up a good amount if you've had multiple friends that have joined and been very successful, meaning that they have recruited multiple people? The lies are not adding up. It is not as weird as you're making it out to be. I can teach you how to make it natural. It sounds cheesy and cliche, but truly the secret to not coming off as a salesman and in maintaining and creating those close relationships that are so important while still respecting your hustle is to just be yourself. 100% just being open, honest, and authentic in not only your communication, but in who you are. And Yeah, but that's also not what you're doing. You're saying that all you do is sell shampoo and that all the top leaders do is sell shampoo. But we know that that's a lie. And one of my strengths as a leader is teaching you how to do that, helping you find your voice, helping you um, take the strategies that you learn and translate them into practices that feel like you. And so if you're worried because you've seen girls, you've gotten the hey girl messages or you've seen girls make posts and you're like, I do not want to do that, fret not because literally this company- Fret not? What in the pride and prejudice is this? You vex me, girl. Okay make haste and it's not your job or my job to turn the world into money minions it's to help people and that's what i want to teach you how to do four or five years into working money she still has not ranked up doesn't look like she has the success that she's selling to other people since she's like selling other people's lifestyle which is weird the last thing this girl will ever do is get a job and leave money and that's really unfortunate so if you're younger and watching my videos please understand that like these people are very naive and don't understand how the world works and they've never had an actual job or lived life don't get scammed look out for red flags such as this know that an actual opportunity is not good like an actual like work opportunity a professional work opportunity is not gonna present itself to you by means of some dummy on the internet 
okay? Also, if people are actually making like a lot of money successfully by not scamming, they don't care what you do. They're not gonna include you in that. I'm not out here trying to make y'all become YouTubers because I don't care. I don't, I don't think you should. <laughs> do what you want, obviously, but like it's not sustainable and typically not attainable. I know, I'm tired of it too. Okay, all right, well, we gotta go do some tummy time and then go walk brother and take him to the park. So stay spicy, you are amazing. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. And if you're offended by anything and everything, go touch grass because that's a you problem. Okay, goodbye.